Uh, it's going and coming, but uh, again, no lightning in the area, so the game will play on. Again, it's 7-7. Seven to seven. We have a tie ball game. We're about to get ready to uh, have the second start, uh, half get started here at Bogota Stadium. The Harlingen Cardinals will be kicking off uh, to the McAllen Bulldogs. Some fans have stuck around for the second half. Some have gone, uh, but we do have some umbrella, umbrellas over the seats. Uh, so we're getting ready to start off this uh, second half of football here uh, from Harlingen, Texas. Cardinals kicking off. Number 21 will be the kicker. That's going to be Brandon Flores. And the kick is a high and short one. Going to come down about the 24-yard line. Picked up. Oh, fumbled. Fumbled. Ball's on the ground. Waiting to see who came up with it. And it will be waiting for the call from the official. Cardinal football, Jonathan. Huge break for the Cardinals to start the second half. Well, with the rain being the way it was, the ball lands on the ground and starts to roll. The receiver tries to pick it up, and then we see a big play by the Cardinal kickoff team. We know that rain often causes the ball to slip. He tries to gain possession of it for a little bit, but once he is hit by number 90, who's already made some plays, Edwin Gasca, Cardinals ball in Cardinals the red zone. football in the red zone, exactly. Ball on the 13-yard line of the McCallum Bulldogs. Cardinals are going to go. New quarterback in for the Cardinals. Get right back to that in a second. Number 28 running hard up the right side. Really close to the first down goes Leo Tienda. We got a new quarterback as the old quarterback got hurt in the first quarter. I mean the first half. And we just see a strong run come off. The, the hole was wide open on the right side. He takes an easy seven yards. Number nine, Michael Gonzalez is the quarterback for the Cardinals coming out on the field in the second half. Again, keeps it this time, Gonzalez. He's going to be hit in the backfield there. Uh, probably going to lose about a yard on the play, but uh, we talked about earlier in the game, number four, Jesse Castro, the sophomore. He is on the sideline. He's got, looks like some ice over his knee. He's not coming back on the field. Well, the read there is to pull. It's just they have so many guys in the box. There's... Once the read has gone through, there's a guy right behind him, so it doesn't go for any yards. New quarterback for the Cardinals, third quarterback of the season, as a matter of fact, as both number one and number two have now gone down to injury. Number nine, Gonzalez, shotgun. Rolls right. He's going to take this on his own, trying to get on the outside. That white uh, jersey defense of the Bulldogs is right there. No gain on the run. Going to bring up a fourth down. Yeah, it'll be a fourth down right here. We've seen... The Cardinals running the ball strongly throughout the game, but we've also seen McAllen come aggressively after the run. We've seen number 32 shoot through certain gaps throughout the game. This time he's just trailing, and he's able to take down our brand-new quarterback for the night, Michael Gonzalez. And we're going to have the field goal team come out for the Cardinals. Number 85 will be doing the kicking. That's Giovanni Guillen. Should be a 25-yarder. The kick is up. And it looks good. It is good. There and the Cardinals right will put three points on the board. There is a penalty. It To me, it looked like there was some offsides. We had one person jump forward, and it didn't look like they ever brought themselves behind the line of scrimmage. Uh, so we may see the Cardinal offense come back out. If not, we'll have three more points up on the board. And it is going to be against the McAllen Bulldogs. So we're going to bring up a first down for the Cardinals. They get a new set of downs. It looked like they're going to go three and out. Uh, though it looked, They had a good field goal kick. Uh, but again, offsides on the defense, so the, the offense comes back onto the field. Stay 7-7 as the rain continues to pour here at Bogus Stadium. Yeah, so we saw some bad luck for the McAllen as they missed with their field goal offense. Now their field goal defense shows some bad luck as they give up the first down through a penalty. First down, Gonzalez, the quarterback. Waiting the snap. Hands off to Tienda. Tienda spins outside but it's going to be tackled pretty quickly loss of one on the run and yeah, there we see as the Cardinals offensive lineman number 52 gets pushed back into the backfield as number 32 of McCallum's defense came in on the blitz he doesn't make the tackle but he makes the runner bounce out and where he's tackled easily for a loss second down ball on the seven yard line Gonzalez and Tienda in the backfield two wide receivers Gonzalez he fumbles a football Picks it up and falls forward just for a short little uh, hop there. But he's going to lose yardage on the play. Going to bring him a third down, about nine to go. And right there, they were in shotgun formation. As soon as the ball comes into his hands, he it slips right out. The runner is not able to get it. 
But he's able to pick it up. Instead of losing about seven yards, he only loses about four yards. So they're going to call that down actually on the 11-yard line. So it's going to bring up a third down and 11. They were just here just a few moments ago. Gonzalez. Hands it off to Tienda. Tienda out then in, but quickly met. Oh, the ball's on the ground again. And the Cardinals will fall on it. But it will bring up a fourth down. Ball is slipping out all over the place, Jonathan. Yeah, but so far the Cardinals have been the lucky recipient of both fumbles. That time it, he fumbles it, it goes right through all the defenders in the middle of the defense. And the receiver coming off the backside trying to make a block ends up falling on the ball. He saving falls. points for the Cardinals. And it's on the fourth. are able to make the field goal. The field goal unit is back on the field again. This will be, oh, it's a bad snap or bad reception on the holder. Ball still on the ground, but it looks like Mackay will fall on it about the 24-yard line, I'm sorry. And Mackay will get the football. Like, what a weird series of events for the Cardinals. Two shots at this. First time they had the field goal unit. It was good, but offsides, get a new set of downs. can punch it in. Go for the field goal again. Bad snap or bad catch from the holder. Mack high ball in the fumble. Yeah, just a few plays ago, we see the Cardinals get three points. And they think they get the lucky break by getting the new first down inside the 10-yard line first and goal. But they end up fumbling the ball about 75% of the plays right there. The ball is slippery tonight as the rain has come down even harder. So the Bulldogs will go to work now in the third quarter. Handoff to number 28. Nowhere to run. Flag on the field as well. I didn't get to see what may have caused the flag, but I did see McCallum Memorial's running back keep both hands on the ball the entire time. I think he's seen enough fumbles. He didn't want to risk it. It'll be on the defense, lined up in the neutral zone. So repeat first down, five-yard penalty that'll be. And McCallum Bulldogs will take the ball now. It is 7-7 seven seven again. Tie ball game here at Bogus Stadium. Harlingen and McCallum both battling tonight with very old-school type offenses. Just a little three, four-yard runs with the running backs and quarterbacks has been getting it done tonight. So the Bulldogs will take here position. They're at the 28-yard line, eight minutes left to go in the third. Blitz shown by the Cardinals. We'll hand it off again, number 28, right up the middle, as we have seen many times tonight. Yeah, we saw number two for the Cardinal defense. That's Adrian Vasquez. He's showing blitz, and then he steps back, and he is unblocked and makes the tackle for about half a yard loss. Half a yard loss, bring up a second down and five to go. Mack High with two backs in the backfield along with their quarterback, two receivers. Snap is good, handoff again, 28 up the left-hand side this time. Met again by the same number two, will fall forward, looks short. This time number two has to tackle him after positive gain. They did have a strong blitz coming right at the point of attack, but the line able, is able to maintain it. Um, if number two, Vasquez doesn't roll off his block, it could have gone for big yards. Third down, looks like a little bit less than one, a really short one to go. Play on <laughs> in this really heavy rain. Here we go. Given to number 28. He's got the room. He's got the first down and more. Down to about the 41-yard line goes number 28. It'll be a first down and a fresh set of downs for the McCallum Bulldogs. Yeah, here we see his running style. The blocks are good up front. All the point of attack. He keeps a low center of gravity, which makes him able to go side to side as he's going through the hole, just reading those blocks, being patient. We've seen him run the ball that way all night. First down now for the McCallum Bulldogs. Protection. Oh, it's fumble on the play. Bobbles that snap there and almost lost possession of that, but the quarterback falls back on it. Similar to what we saw with the Cardinals on their um, drive that ended up following with the fourth down turnover. As soon as it hit his hand, it just fell right through. Seems like this water with the rain is taking a big effect for these quarterbacks when they're lined up in the shotgun. Totally. And the officials there trying to keep a fresh, dry football in almost every play there. But, you know, the, the rain's coming down so hard right now that once it gets placed on the ground, it is getting wet. And so uh, centers and quarterbacks going to have to work really hard uh, to try to maintain control of this football. And just as I speak, the umpire is walking off to the sideline there. I don't know if they're looking for a dry towel or something, uh, but having a hard time keeping those footballs dry. Yeah, I don't think there's anything you could really do at this point with the way the water must be saturated into the ground, plus it continues to fall over the top. These ball boys will have their hands full 
if they're trying to keep these balls dry. Yeah, definitely. Official Whitecap is trying to tell Coach uh, Manny Gomez here something on the sideline. Um, not sure exactly what it is, but there's no ball on the football field at this time. Uh, I don't know if they're just not prepared possibly uh, to have some kind of system to where the footballs can stay dry. If, if they're not able to do that, uh, could really uh, hamper play here this evening. Yeah, both teams are, they have the defense out there for the Cardinals. We have McAllen out there with their offense. Uh, but the referee's holding the ball on the sideline. And he walks it out now. As he looks like he's about to put it down. He's trying to keep it dry with his body. White cap on his way back out to the field. So just a little bit of communication looks like here from the officiating crew to the sidelines. We're not sure. And here we go. Play is back in session. Second down. 14 now. Bulldogs, two running backs in that backfield as usual. We'll hand off now. Space to run. Spin inside. Look like he had some more space to the outside there, Jonathan, but cut it up in. Was tackled pretty quickly. Yeah, we've seen this runner. It doesn't seem like he likes to go off to the edge. He tries to keep going fairly vertical. Uh, he is met by the safety coming up. We've seen these safeties making a lot of plays as they have been playing very aggressive into the run game. Third down, about nine yards to go here for the Bulldogs. We're already down to about five and a half left in the third quarter as time is expiring pretty quickly as both teams uh, have been running the ball uh, pretty much 100% of the time here, especially in the second half. Here we go, third down, nine to go. Bulldogs trying to get that first down. Fake handoff rolls out to his left, and he's going to be met quickly. But he gets away. Looking to pass downfield, still under a lot of pressure. Eludes two or three Cardinals, four or five. Spinning, he's going to be tackled right around the original line of scrimmage. Almost lost about 12 yards and made it back to the line of scrimmage. He didn't gain any yards, but that was still a very impressive play at the five minutes and about 10 seconds. Here we see the edge defender, Casca, who's made a lot of plays tonight. Long, rangy defender, and he's able to juke past number five on the defense. Gets right by Gonzalez, and then he gets back to the original line of scrimmage. He's brought down in an acrobatic tackle, but beautiful play just for no yards. <laughs> yeah, just trying to save and control, take care of that football's number one right now. So punt team for the Bulldogs. Punt is going to be really high and very, very short. Punt goes about 15 yards in the air. It looked like it may have touched a Cardinal player. It looked like number three, Elijah De Leon, was right around there. But it looks like the referees are going to say it did not touch him. And so even though McAllen downed it, they will not keep possession. It will go back to the Cardinal offense. Well, that punt will yield only about 12 yards <laughs> against the Cardinals. Uh, it was just a really high and short uh, punt there. And so the Cardinals actually get possession of the football back at the 43-yard line, their own 43. And so now they will try to go to work here with 4 minutes and 29 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Gonzalez hands it off. Number one, that's Medina. Right, then bounces it inside, gain of about four yards. The, he makes one good juke off the edge and has to cut it back in. The defensive player kept contained, forced it back in where he's able to be caught by more defenders, specifically number 55, making the tackle. Second down, six to go for the Cardinals. Seven to seven ball game. Hand off again, Medina, flag on the play, two flags as a matter of fact. He'll fall down for about three yards, but uh, it looks like there will be uh, a penalty on this play as two flags came from the both linesmen. I'm not sure what the penalty may be. I was looking at the defensive line trying to see their alignment. We had both defensive ends about a yard off the ball, but perhaps one of the defensive tackles was over. No, nope, it'll be start. a false start. Yep. On the offense. Could have been something with a snap maybe uh, that both linesmen were able to see. So either way, that'll take them back five yards. A lot of back and forth here from the two teams here in the past uh, as we started the second half. A lot of it has to do with this wet football on the field and, uh, you know, just complicates everything. Um, but either way, if you like, a, like I said in the first half, a, a knockdown, drag out type of football game, this is your game to listen to. Later on, go back and watch this if you're listening live right now at valleycentral.com. Check it on KHGN Channel 17. Here we go. Second down, about 11 to go. Gonzalez is going to pass downfield to Omic, and Omic uh, is surrounded by two defenders. Can't get there. Uh, he, if he would have gone to Omic, he may have gone 
a good distance there. Yeah, it was a bad decision to throw the ball, it looked like at first, but then almost serving, the, normally the tip drill goes towards the defense, but we had the receiver behind, and it almost went right into his hands. He would have taken it to the touchdown, uh, yeah. but it would have been a fluky play, not yeah. a good throw at all there. You know, just a little bit, about another two feet on that pass, and Omi could have had a full run towards the end zone. Again, new quarterback in for the Cardinals here in the second half. They're having to go deep on the depth chart, looking at their third-string quarterback who was playing and started a receiver tonight uh, and who was called into the quarterbacking duties for the Cardinals. So trying to make it work here. Third and 11 for the Cardinals. Gonzalez. He's going to hand it off. It's a little reverse type play here. Coming around the end, but it's not going to go anywhere as they tackle the receiver turn running back number 23 for the Cardinals, Fidencio Gonzalez. Yeah, right there we see the reverse play come out, uh, or like a quick reverse. We see the first defender is able to slow him down enough. He had a lot of space in the open field, but that first defender making him slow down, giving the second defender enough time to catch him while he was still trying to gather his footing. Nicholas Garcia, number 31, the punter, coming back onto the field now. Had a really short punt last time, uh, and so he's going to try to get a better one here. Going to be able to get a good one off this time. Really nice spiral on that punt all the way down to the 8-yard line. Receiver will bring it out there, only out to about the 17. That's the best punt we've seen all night long. That is the best punt we've seen all night. We, we normally see him take the rugby style going towards the right. That time he gets the quick kickoff, and it's a beautiful kick. Very nicely done there. That's a, a picture-perfect uh, spiral there on that punt. So that's going to actually put McAllen pretty far back down, about the uh, 19-yard line they're going to mark it here. Uh, so they've got a long way to go. Neither of these offenses have been able to uh, make anything happen, even though the Cardinals had the ball twice for two different series uh, within the 20-yard line in the red zone. Here we go, McAllen Bulldogs now going to work. Two minutes, 42 seconds left. Hand off up the middle. Going to be wrapped up pretty quickly there. Not a whole lot of space to run. Yeah, right there we see the defensive lineman at the point of attack. He was blocked. He had a body on him, but he was able to get one arm free and is able to grab the <laughs> runner. I also noticed that one of the defensive linemen for the Cardinals did just bear call right down the middle. I wonder if because we've seen so much pulling by the guards that he's just trying to create some chaos right there in the middle of the line play. Create a pile, right? All right, here we go. Second down, nine to go. Blitz looks like it's coming. Our same running play right up the middle again, 28. Uh, right up the gut, going to fall forward for about a gain of three yards. And right there I did see again as we see the replay, the backside or the front, the, he was really on the front side of this play. Uh, defensive lineman crawling right down the middle, kind of getting washed down, but he does create a little bit of a problem as he's causing a bit of a pile up right down the middle. But on that play, they are still able to get about four yards. Third down, four yards coming up here. Just at a minute and a half left to go in this third quarter. Still 7-7. Seven seven. And off running back up the middle again. This time, ball's on the ground. Ball is on the ground. Harlingen Cardinal football on the fumble by the running back for Mack High. Again, the ball is wet. It looked like he was going to be close to a first down on the play. But instead... Number six, the safety for Harlingen Cardinals, Felix Reina, makes the big defensive play as his helmet goes right onto the ball and pops it out. Perfect tackle right there, putting the helmet, the crown of the helmet right on the tip of that football, and he's able to come out. Another fumble for McAllen gives the ball to, to Harlingen again, this time at the 33-yard line, so great field position for the Cardinals. Here we go, handoff, 28, slips this time, trying to make a cut, uh, lose, will lose about a yard on the play. Yeah, here we see the Cardinals coming out. They have a little bit more of a power formation. All their offensive line is lined up almost foot to foot, which is very tight for an offensive line to be lined up in that way. They do try to stretch it to the right, but as the running back makes the cut because of a free defender, he slips and falls. Second down, 13 to go. They actually lose three yards on that play. Gonzalez. He'll hand it off this time to Medina. Medina trying to make a cut up to the inside of that, uh, that defense of Mac McAllen. Oh, gains about three or four yards on that run. Here we see basically the same play, and we see this time Medina is able to keep his footing as he keeps it kind of tight. That time we see positive yards. Third down, nine to go. 30 seconds left to go in this third quarter. 
half time so far has been the longest length of time that we've had uh, as far as the, the game goes because these quarters tick down pretty quick with two running teams. Third down, nine to go. Probably last play of this third quarter. Looking downfield to pass. In and out of the hands of number eight, Dominic Freeman. But that was a pass by number 14, Victor Ochoa. We saw a fourth quarterback for the Cardinals in on that play. And yeah, this time we see him. He steps back. He has good blocking in front of him. The receiver is open down the field. The ball is a little bit behind, but catchable. Yeah. It should have been an easy catch. But again, the weather, uh, the defender was coming in right behind him since it was a little bit behind. But Freeman is going to be mad at himself when he watches that on film because it would have put them right at about the five-yard line had he made the catch. That is the longest pass downfield for the Cardinals, and we do have a new quarterback on the field in Victor Ochoa, number 14, and he's going to look to pass again. He looks good in the pocket, and this it will be intercepted. The Bulldogs will intercept this football right about the 18-yard line, bring it out to the 29. So Ochoa goes in there, the fourth quarterback the Cardinals have seen this season, and throws a pick. Yeah, it looks like they may have brought him in both times that he's been in. He's thrown the ball. It seems like he is a little more willing to attack vertically. Unfortunately, there was no one there. We did have his middle receiver slipped and fell, probably not taking away any of the defensive pressure. So they were all able to go after the one defender that he was throwing it to. Yeah, the intended receiver was Fidencio Gonzalez, who played running back last year. And we've seen him just at the wide receiver position tonight. Here we go, McCallum Bulldogs. Back to familiar territory here. Again, there's a handoff. He slips a tackle. Two tackles outside. 35-40. 45-50. One person to beat. 40. 37-yard line. Goes number 28. Huge breakout run for the McAllen Bulldog running back. Yeah, we see him using his patient style. Once again, he waits until all the blocks have developed. He breaks one tackle. For, that would have been negative yards. He makes a juke and he's able to run down. He had a receiver down the field able to block but the receiver didn't realize that he was being chased by anyone the receiver kept running forward had the receiver peeled back it could have been a touchdown for McAllen on a huge run play but still they've got to be happy that they have now gone into Cardinal territory well just hey a quick shout out right now to KHDN's team here today including Shane Strubart and Maritza Gallaga Adriana Dominguez Roland Ansaldua Iris Montemayor Joe Medrano Sam Vargas, Javier Raisa, Pat Guajardo, and Acacia, and co-ops. These students, especially tonight in the rain here, are doing a wonderful job. They're part of the Media Tech program at Hollingen High School. And it's a great opportunity for them to learn some valuable skills on the job here in the rain, doing a wonderful job. All of our camera people, broadcast people, bringing live audio here from Bogus Stadium tonight. First down for the Bulldogs. Start of the fourth quarter, 7-7. Quarterback keeper, left side. Jukes, 30, 25, 20. 15 out at the 10-yard line goes a quarterback on a huge run. Back-to-back -back big plays for the Bulldogs. And here we see a brand-new formation. We've seen them line up in a lot of big play style formations. This time, they line up in the spread two on each side. And the quarterback makes the read, makes the right read, takes it for a big game. Two big running plays for the Bulldogs. Have them down at the 10-yard line first and goal for the Bulldogs. 7-7 seven, seven, trying to make it. Quarterback. Oh, quarterback keeper inside spins. Touchdown. Bulldogs trying to go up, and they will as a quarterback keeper right up the middle. Quick spin. He's in. Again, we see the quarterback spread it out. He does a quick fake. He makes a spin move on the linebacker or safety that came up. It was almost only a three-yard gain, but the quarterback makes a great play. With 11 minutes and 44 seconds left in the game, he scores the touchdown. 13-7 is the score, awaiting the extra point from the kicker for Mack High. Again, these wet conditions make it a little bit difficult to get these field goals off, but they will attempt. Snap good. No, it's fumbled. Snap is bad. The catch is bad, actually. And uh, they're just going to gang tackle that, uh, that holder there. But uh, again, just can't get a good grip on that ball. You know, I, I, you would have thought that the the team would have been ready for a bad snap. He looks up after he finally gathers the ball, but no one had gone into. Normally, you see some players peel off for as it as if though they were going for the pass, but he had to try to run it himself, and he's quickly met by multiple Cardinal defenders. So we only have a six-point lead. That means that if the Cardinals right. score a touchdown, that extra point could win the game for them. 
They could, and you have to ask yourself, though, if extra points are the way to go tonight. The last two kicks we've seen have been uh, the holder has fumbled uh, the snap here, one for the Cardinals, now one for the Bulldogs. And so I'm wondering if, you know, you, you, you go and score and you just have the mindset to go for the two point conversion especially there how McCallum Bulldogs were able to run at will the last couple plays of that series may have been smarter for them to try to get the two-point conversion either way they found out the hard way that it is hard to snap catch and kick right now yeah right there we see we see the quarterback took it both times on those long runs we see some momentum starting to flow into McAllen's side as they had the long run by the running back and then two big runs, one being the long run and then the touchdown run by the quarterback after they spread it out. So i got to wonder, they've been playing kind of a power run game. Are they going to keep it spread and maybe do a little more finesse as it worked right there at the end of that drive? Here we go. McAllen getting set to kick this football off here. It's a low squib kick. Oh, it's going to be received at the 30-yard line. 35 slips, though. We'll go down. Good field position at the 35. I'm wanting to see which, which quarterback will be coming onto the field. We know that we saw uh, they're wanting to throw the football with 14, but it looks like he's going to stay on the sideline. Yeah, we did also have a flag on the play. I noticed that one of the McAllen defenders was offsides. Now you cannot pass the football before it's kicked um, for that kicking team. Impressive catch, though, the low squib kick, yeah. and he just caught it right there. And Get hit, get him on the wide receiving core because he didn't drop that, and it was coming awkward at him and wet. Number 10, who was that number 10? Uh, that was Rylan Ochoa. Good, <laughs> good grab right there on that kickoff. So with that penalty, they will get the ball at the 40-yard line. The Cardinals come out, and we are back now to Michael Gonzalez, number 9. And he has Rene Medina in the backfield with him, along with two blocking fullback types. Here we go. Sweep to the right. It is just a design run play from the very beginning. Fumble on the, on the field again. And the Whitecaps going to say, no, it's Cardinal football. Yeah, it looked like McCallan may have recovered, but they were all out of bounds on the, on the play. So it, here we see the fumble. Just a good strip with the, using his hands, and then the ball falls out. Just barely rolled out of bounds there because there was enough Bulldogs to be able to fall on that inbounds. That would have been another turnover on the night here this time for the Cardinals. So it brings up a second down, nine yards to go. Or uh, Look, change of quarterback. Now number 14 is in. That's Victor Ochoa. We know that he threw the ball twice the last time he was in. And he's going to hand it off this time to Medina. Medina left and quick right up the middle, able to hold on to the football. Uh, going to gain about five yards on the run. Yeah, we've seen Ochoa as he's come in both times that he's been in. He threw the ball vertically. This time he takes a good look vertical, but he does hand it off in a delay play. And Medina hits the hole quickly. There was a nice little lane as he's able to gain himself about eight yards. Folks, the Cardinals have now seen the third quarterback on the field for their offense tonight. This is not something normal for the Harlingen football squad over the years. Here we go, Ochoa. Third down, about two to go. He's in shotgun. He will hand off to Medina. Medina going right. But, wow, that defense just penetrating there. Nowhere to go. But he's going to fall close really short to that first down. Yeah, here we see number nine. He's lined up as a safety, and yet he's still able to meet the runner right at the line of scrimmage. So you know that that means that these safeties are playing the run very aggressively. So even though Ochoa did throw the ball deep twice, they're still having confidence that they're able to stop him almost in a one-on-one -on -one place. Well, I tell you what, with a new set of downs, you only have half the field to work with balls on the 50. This would be the time to let Ochoa see what he can do downfield. Ochoa, that's a shotgun formation. He's got two up blockers, it looks like, up backs there. He's going to look downfield. He wants to go deep. He's got number nine. Oh, Gonzalez was open. He had beaten the defenders, and the pass was just about a foot ahead. And he's angry with himself. He lost his footing right before the ball got there, and it looked like he kind of let himself get out of control and he wasn't able to bring it in, but it was a good ball. He was behind all the defenders. He just unfortunately slipped a little bit, and must have, that must have caused him to lose his concentration on the ball. Well, Ochoa is in. Remember, Gonzalez has been the QB up until Ochoa coming in. Then Now, Gonzalez goes downfield, almost makes a huge grab uh, for a very long play. Ochoa in, second down and 10. We'll hand off this time to Medina, flag on the play. That's coming back. 
it seems as though they may have hiked the ball before both of the guys that came in motion were fully set, which will give an, an illegal shifting. Um, but it wasn't a positive play. They'll just lose five yards on that. It'll be second down, 15 to go now. We're under 10 minutes here in the fourth quarter. Score is 13 to 7. Uh, the Bulldogs lead. Second and 15 for Ochoa and company here. Fakes the handoff to Medina. Looking downfield again. He's going to let this one fly. He has a receiver in 23. Did he catch it? Yes. They're going to rule it. A catch to Fidenzo Gonzalez. That's a 10, 20, 30, 35 yard pass from Ochoa to Gonzalez. So we've seen Ochoa come in. He's had, I mean, he comes in and as soon as he comes in, he's willing to throw the deep ball. Here he throws it behind which gives the offensive player the opportunity to peel back. And that was just a great play by number 23, Fidencio Gonzalez, as he comes back to catch the ball. He slipped and fell, but he slipped right in the right spot as it comes right down into his hands. So now we see a different offense from the Cardinals now that Ochoa has come onto the field. He's not afraid to go downfield, folks. Here we go. First and 10 now. Hand off to Medina. Medina goes left, has a blocker in front. But too many white jerseys will stop him short. About a two or three yard gain there. And here we see, I think, Medina's style of run hurt him on that play. He likes to attack hard, and he had two blockers. The play was developing in front of him. He just ran in front of the blockers and right into defenders. Second down and eight for the Cardinals. They are down 13-7 here with eight minutes and 46 seconds left to go in the ball game. Again, number 14, that is Victor Ochoa, uh, has come in and has uh, changed the pace of the ball game up. Uh, with his arm now. Second and eight. Ochoa shotgun. Snap is good. Hands it off to Medina. Medina off the right hand side now. Gets to the outside. Almost breaks it. But it's going to be brought down about the 15 yard line. Really close to that first down marker. Yeah, there's some good blocking all along the edge here on this play. We see number 32 come and kick out. And he it looked like he was going to cut it in. And I thought the fake cut in was going to give him the touchdown. But the good play by the defender feeling jumping himself off and getting the edge and taking him down. Well, I tell you what, you watch that replay there. They marked this ball down at the 15. If you look at that replay, he was on top of another player at the 15 and actually fell forward to the 14. So he loses about a yard on that on that spot. Third and two either way. 7.50 left to go in the game. Harlingen Cardinals, quick move up the inside. He will have the first down for sure this time. Falls forward to about the nine-yard line. And 32, the linebacker for McCallan. He did get the initial penetration. But Medina makes a nice cut, and he's only able to get one hand on him, not even a full arm, just a hand, and that cut was good enough to get him the first down. So that loss of that one yard did not play into them not being able to get that first down, Aaron. Well, I tell you what, I like this number 14, Ochoa. He's come in, he's able to, to run the offense really well. Uh, he looks really poised in there. I do not know his classification. We don't know much about him. Uh, but he is running this offense very well, like he's been running it all uh, all two days, it seems. Here we go. Hand off to Medina. Medina, right-hand side, going to fall forward. Short gain on the run, but Harlingen keeps inching forward towards that goal line. Yeah, right there we see the offensive line in the middle. They do a good job with a combo block. That means they double team, uh, but the front side of it is not quite as strong. Still gets some good yards. Uh, but just I wanted to carry on before you said Ochoa came in. He he seems to have given the ener yep. some energy to the offense. Yep. It's flowing a little better. We're seeing a little bit more dynamic play calling with him in there. And we've also seen this new formation with the two mm -hmm. kind of fullback, H-back on the front side. Yeah, definitely just a, a little fresh air for, for Harlingen here. Uh, it's working out so so far. Here we go. Handoff. Tienda. Fumble on the play. And they're going to call it McAllen Bulldog football at the five-yard line. Yeah, here we have some, I think if Medina, had, or I'm sorry, the new runner, had kept it in a little tighter, he might have been able to walk into the end zone, but he did take it a little wide, and he's met by two defenders. One of their helmets went right on the ball, just like we saw the Cardinals do to McAllen earlier, causing the fumble head right on the ball. We see that now as McAllen is able to stop them in the red zone. Wow, what a turn of events. We had just mentioned that uh, Harlingen was able to get some momentum moving downfield with a new quarterback. Well, guess what? McAllen is back, and they are in the lead. So 13-7, they have the ability to take a lot of time off the clock if they don't turn the ball over. Handoff, barely getting out of the end zone, goes number 28. He'll come down about the four-yard line. And we, should, we see a good play right there by the interior defensive lineman. He's able to wipe off 
his block. That was number 62, Magic Jaime, able to peel off his block and make the tackle. Second down and 10. The ball's on the four-yard line. Six minutes left to go in this ball game. Again, 13-7. McCallum has the lead, hoping to hold on to that lead, get out of this end zone area here. Hand off. Oh, space to run. 15, 20, 25, down all the way at the 28-yard line. Goes number 28 on a huge run again, just like he did last series. Yeah, there we see him run the ball. He stays patient as we've seen him. That time he looked a little more aggressive, but he gets his blocks, and then he's right through. That time there were no carnal defenders really in the area. He just goes right by them all. And they were lucky to be able to chase him down because he was – running full speed already yeah that's number six Felix Reina has uh, saved two touchdowns on his runs already uh, because he is just running with a full head of steam looking really good here late in the fourth quarter here we go McCallum Bulldogs first and ten five and a half left to go in the game handoff again 28 tries to spin but there's nowhere to run and there we see number 62 who made the tackle just a few series ago that time Magic Jaime Makes the big play, not by making the tackle, but by causing all the penetration and forcing the runner to spin off right away as his team comes on. But we have five minutes left. The Cardinals are running out of time. They need to make a stop soon, Aaron, or else they're not going to get a shot for a game-winning drive. Second down, 13 to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Hand off again, 28. Out, then in, but going to fall short right at the line of scrimmage. Original line of scrimmage going to be a gain of about a, a yard and a half there. Good play right there by Adrian Vasquez. He's able to cause the runner to cut in, and then he's able to arm tackle him down. Third and ten, big opportunity for the Cardinal defense to make a stop and give the Cardinal offense an opportunity to come back and win this game for him as it's only a six-point game, a touchdown, and any conversion of extra points would win the Cardinals the game. McCallum Bulldogs looking to hold on to that lead now. Four minutes, 15 seconds. Looking left. Pressured. Getting out of the pocket now. Chase from behind. Eludes a couple of defenders. Keeps going. Ball on the ground. Ball on the ground. Waiting on the official. Cardinal football. Fumble. Big Red recovers. And right here we see the Cardinals. They bring some penetration. They go for the pass play, and it's quickly taken away by all the penetration. There's pressure instantly on that play. The quarterback almost makes a big play, giving them positive yards. He was about to be tackled inbounds, keeping the clock flowing, but instead he fumbles the ball, and now the Cardinals have it at the 35. Good field position again for the Cardinals. Cardinals are going to continue with number 14, Victor Ochoa at the quarterback position. Shotgun formation. Hands it off to Medina. Medina off the right-hand side. 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Cardinals. And Medina makes a few good cuts off some good blocks. The McAllen defense has got to feel devastated right there. Because they almost took him down at the line of scrimmage. But his speed, he's able to get him around the edge. And then he makes some nice cuts. And just takes it all the way into the end zone. Now we got to see, can these Cardinals convert here on the extra point and take the lead? Well, Ochoa is the holder here for the Cardinals. Number 85 will be the kicker. That's Giovanni Guillen. Crucial extra point here as it is tied up 13-13. Awaiting the snap. It's low, but he holds it. Kick is up. And it is good. The Cardinals go ahead 14-13. Three minutes and 55 seconds left to go in the ball game. Great job by the Cardinals. They steal the lead as they get a fumble. And then on the very next play, running back Medina is able to take it for 35 yards for the touchdown. And then they finish it off with a key extra point to take a one-point lead with three minutes and 55 seconds left in the game. Two plays, crucial turn in the ball game. First play, fumble by the Bulldogs, recovered by the Cardinals, and then a 35-yard run by Rene Medina to put the Cardinals at the equalizing 13-13. Low snap, handled well, kick is good, 
14-13 is now the story, folks. 3.55 left to go in this ball game. It has been just back and forth, low-scoring ball game for both of these teams. The rain has let up here somewhat, still coming down, not as sheets as it was earlier. Uh, and so the Bulldogs now going to look to to go back to that explosive run game that uh, we've been seeing here uh, in the second half. Yeah, I would like to see them try to do the spread out offense that they did, a little bit of finesse where they gained some big yards, but we got to see how they come out here. The kickoff is up. And it's fielded at the 20. Out to the 30 goes the, re the returner for the Bulldogs who come out at right about the 30-yard line. Uh, talk about that, that spread offense, Jonathan, and uh, those big plays that they're able to get out of that, stretching the, fi stretching the field a little bit, finding some space for that running back, number 28. He, if he gets some space, he can go. Well, we know that both the running back as well as the quarterback, right. number 11, have our threats in the run game. So when we've had that spread offense, which it, it looks like they are not coming out with here, uh, but we know that they both can take advantage of space. That tight formation with two running backs, again, just kind of old school, right up the field type running play there. A gain of about three yards, there goes the running back. Yeah. Here we see them, they've been consistently running the ball. We've seen both teams run the ball throughout the entire game. So we have three minutes and the clock does continue to run once the ball is placed down. Second down. It's going to come out to about seven yards to go. Ball is on the 33-yard line of the Bulldogs. Spread offense. Here you go. Four wide receivers. There's a handoff. Keeper to the outside. Fakes us out. Gets upfield up to about the 40. Fall close to the first down. May get it. Very good keep right there. As he read the play, I thought it looked like the running back took the ball very good and faked everyone out, including us up here. And he is able to get the first down. We see the spread. They keep it in the spread this time. Three receivers to his right and one to his left. Lone running back. Probably not going to pass it. Nope. Hand it off. No keeper again. Number 11 goes upfield for about a yard. So they like to spread it out, make you think they're going to pass, and then really they just go back to the run. Well, as they spread it out, it forces you to have to guard those players on the edge. Even though you don't think it's going to them, there's such a threat out there all alone. You have to defend it. The Cardinals have been forcing a big pile up when they've gone into the power offense, which has caused when, if you do break out, we've seen the runner They're break gone, out right? and he goes long, but in the spread, it's, it's open field right from the beginning. More space to run. Flag on the field are going to call illegal motion or a false start on the offense. So they had a second and eight. That's going to push them back to a second and 13. They're right at two and a half left to go in this ball game. It is 14-13. The Mackay Bulldogs trail the Cardinals by one point in this really close game that we've been able to witness here at Bogus Stadium. Again, had the rain delay earlier, right at the end, of, tagged on to the halftime. Uh, both teams have can't come back out. Some fans have stuck around for this one. For those of y'all listening live right now, audio at valleycentral.com, uh, thanks for staying with us tonight. Here we go. Just above two minutes. Both teams have all, have all their timeouts left. 11 looking at the pass downfield. He fakes. Gets, tries to get outside. And he'll fall close to the original line of scrimmage. He wanted to throw the ball downfield, Jonathan. Surprise us all. Yeah, he wanted to throw it down. He didn't see anyone open, so he couldn't throw it. And then he went and tried to get as many yards as he could. It'll be third and 11. Third down, 11 to go. Crucial third down for the Bulldogs. I imagine if they don't get it, they will go for it. We're down to a minute and 40 seconds left to go. Looking downfield, wants the pass, connects with his receiver, but he's hit immediately. Gain of about three yards in a short, quick pass. Well, I guess they see this as two down territory at this point with a minute 30 left on the clock. It'll be fourth and seven. I think they wanted to get a little bit more yards on that, maybe make it about a three yard or fourth and three, but a good play by the Cardinals corner as he makes the sure tackle right away not giving any opportunity for McCallum to gain any more yards. We are going to have a fourth down and seven. Timeout McCallum as he'll burn one of their three timeouts here. Folks, we're down to one minute and 27 seconds left to go in this ball game. It has been a very good ball game as far as it goes. If you are a run-happy offense <laughs> of person, you would love this game. The Hongens come to throw a little wrinkle with a new quarterback here at the end. Uh, McCallum is still holding strong to that run game. That last play by McCallum seemed a little odd to me. They had a power formation. It looked like they were blocked up well. They had enough guys to keep. It was kind of a max protect, but then they threw the quick pass. I thought they would have tried to go deep at that point since they were going to have the protection. Uh, but quarterback does dump it right away. And so now we see ourselves with a big fourth and long. 
what we see. Um, they've got to throw the ball here, but I mean, you figure they're going to have to throw the ball, and but you know we've seen him run the ball to this formation before. He's got two receivers to his right, one to the left, two running backs in the backfield here. Fourth and seven, big play here. He wants to throw, looking left. Pump fakes pressure, goes downfield to number six. He catches the football at the 22-yard line. Complete pass, a huge gain for the Bulldogs, Jonathan. They march it way downfield on that pass. Great ball thrown up in the air. He does the punt fake. We see them there. He was even. And so that means that he's going to throw the ball deep down the field. There was a very little contact. The receiver's able to just bring it in safely. Big play by McAllen, keeping themselves alive. First and 10 on the 21-yard line now. Getting close to field goal position. 28, running to up the middle, getting some yards. About four yards on the carry. And McAllen is threatening Big time here in the in the red zone now, Jonathan, with 55 seconds left to go in the game. 53, 52, 50 seconds left. They're spreading it out, or they have the, the traditional formation they've been using all game. Here we go. Oh, little miscommunication there. Meant to hand it off. Nobody's there trying to get out of bounds of the quarterback, and he will. Flag. It looks like that's going to be a late hit, Jonathan. It was a late hit. It, it wasn't the hardest hit, but it was well out of bounds. That is going to march him upfield quite a bit, folks. That may take him all the way down to right near that goal line. Personal foul on the Cardinals. And McCallan comes to life here with 38 seconds left to go in the ball game, trailing by one. And they'll get half the distance to the goal. That'll put him inside of the 10-yard line at about the 7. 38 seconds to go this is a great ending to such a good fought battle by both these teams. First and seven, 38 seconds, 14-13. Cardinals lead by one. McCallan is on the doorstep, knocking. Snap, handoff, spin, up the gut, falling down close to the goal line, and it'll be second and less than one, Jonathan. And the clock continues to run as it is second down. There's no first downs. Timeout McCallan. Wow. What a game this has been, especially here in the fourth quarter. Back and forth momentum shifts. And now McCallan has marched it all the way down to the Harlingen Cardinal one-yard line. 20 seconds left to go. McCallan also have one timeout left to burn. On the doorstep, Jonathan down one point does not look good for the Cardinals it does not look good for the Cardinals but we have seen a lot of turnovers and fumbles you know it does look like it has started to clear up but there is it is still wet out there and we've seen some good penetration I would like to specifically talk about number 62 on the Cardinal defensive line he has been getting in the backfield a lot we've seen number 90 Casca get in the backfield I imagine they're gonna run up right up the gut I think they're going to pull some of their guards, as that's what we've seen a lot out of McCallan. We just got to see if the front for the Cardinals can stop them. Here we go, McCallan. Second down, one to go, 27 seconds. Handoff, right side, untouched. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Now they'll give up the touchdown here. The Cardinals will get 23 seconds. It's going to be tough for them to score a touchdown, but it can be done. Because of the way it is, I gotta imagine they're going for two right now. Or it looks like the field goal unit will not come onto the field. Looks like the Bulldogs will go for two. Um, getting prepared for this, unless yep, they're gonna go for two. Have a different formation now. Three running backs in the backfield, tight formation. Handoff, power, flag on the on the field here. Two flags. Something on the line of scrimmage did not look right. Yeah, the goal line formation that McCallum has been using is an even front, a tight end on each side, and then a fullback on each side. Decline. The penalty is on the defense. It'll be declined, so a two-point conversion. Now the Cardinals, if they are able to go down and score a touchdown and get the, one, the field goal for extra point, they will only tie. They will no longer be 
in contention to take the lead with the extra point field. 21 14, the Bulldogs have marched it down the field very impressively. They have gone to the hat to pull out a very long pass that set them up on a fourth down, marching down the field. What an amazing series. What an amazing uh, comeback here from the Bulldogs here in the fourth quarter, putting Harlingen in a very difficult position. This has been a great game. 23 seconds left to go in this ball game, and uh, Harlingen will have just a shot. They do have uh, three timeouts remaining. Uh, however, the Bulldogs have really done a good job of getting the momentum on their side. Well, well, well done there by that Bulldog offense. Yeah, we see they finally make a deep pass down the field. It's his only attempt of the game that was over 25 yards down the field. He gets the big completion, does number 11 for the quarterback for McAllen, and it pays off big as it takes them down the field, and then they're able to punch it in with the run game. Folks, listening, 23 seconds left to go in this ball game. Cardinals trail now by seven points. They do have three timeouts. And we do have a quarterback now in the game for the Cardinals that uh, can pass downfield. In and out of the hands of number eight there. He looked like it was going out of bounds. Probably should have let that one go. Yeah, I think he should have let that go. That would have put them at the 30, 35-yard yard line without taking any time off the clock. Instead, he wastes half a second, and he will keep it at the 22-yard line. So 22 seconds to get 80 yards down the field. They do have three timeouts, but it will be very tough for this Cardinals team to get down the field that far. Well, that I, do, I do expect that they're going to come out just throwing this football. So, uh, again, number 14, the story of the night, Victor Ochoa comes into the ball game for the Harlingen Cardinals. Uh, so the, the fourth quarterback, I believe, that the, court, that the Cardinals have seen this season um, just from last game. So uh, he definitely has the ability to air the ball down the field. Going with a kind of prevent defense here, McAllen, because uh, there's five wide receivers on the field for the Cardinals. Here we go. Looking to stretch it downfield. Rolls out pressure. Eludes a, a defender. Going to get as much yards as possible and get out of bounds. Flag. And now we'll have a late hit on the McAllen defense as they tackle the quarterback out of bounds. It was a little bit of a close call, but it was close enough for them to get the penalty. Well, the Bulldogs have had two called on them tonight. Uh, I'm sorry, the Cardinals have. Mm -hmm. Now the Bulldogs have, will have one uh, called on them, and uh, now the Cardinals will march up field. They actually have uh, the ball at the 44-yard line. And they still have their three timeouts, so big break for them right there. 15 seconds left to go. Cardinals down by one touchdown. Ochoa looks downfield, wants to let it go. No, goes short to Fidenzo Gonzalez coming across the sideline, and he does get out of bounds. About a four-yard pickup. So now they have eight seconds to go. They have the length of about half the field. We saw in the first play there was a lot of penetration by McAllen, but that time they, they rushed four again, but this time the offensive line does block well. Still only completes a short pass. We got to see Ochoa, who does not have a fear of throwing it deep downfield. He got to do it now. First down, about second down and five. Goes really short to Medina. Medina's going to come out and the clock will run. Time out. Just a, you know, just a, a poor decision there. You need to go about... 55 yards and threw out about a one-yard pass there. Yeah, I think maybe their goal was to only get about 10 yards, put him where he can throw that final ball deep into the end zone. From here, it's going to be really hard to throw the ball, you know, 60 yards about or 55 yards into the end zone. But we got to see what happens. This will be the final play of the game most likely. Final play of the game coming up. It is. There's only 2.5 seconds left to go on the board here. Again, 21-14. The Bulldogs have just come on strong here in the fourth quarter, have capitalized on a couple of mistakes by the Cardinals, and have been able to punch the score in here. Uh, we had a 7-7 seven seven ball game at the start of the second half, uh, and this game has just taken on a new life here uh, at Bogus Stadium tonight. So last play of the game right here. Two seconds left to go. Ochoa is in. They're on the 46-yard line. Uh, we'll call it 47 uh, so they got 53 yards to go to the end zone. Mack High putting a wall of, of defenders back there about 20 yards deep. Don't let anybody behind you. Here we go. Ochoa looking downfield. He's got to let this one rip. He does. Tip drill. And it's incomplete. And that will be ball game, folks. As McAllen Bulldogs hold on to win tonight's ball game here at Bogus Stadium. 21-14. The Bulldogs winning a long and emotional ball game. Yeah, both these teams play tough. We saw in the first part of the game both teams trying to